Hi guys. You guys have probably not seen, but should look into Let's Plays that I've been doing recently. Um, so recently I had a mouse sort of crap out on me. I don't know whether it's actually broken or whether it's Mad Cat's wonderful update to their software, but I'm going to find out the hard way. Um, please bear with me with the camera. I don't actually have a tripod mountable camera at the moment. I only have my phone. So please bear with me. So I've been using a Rat7 up until a while ago, and I tried to take it for warranty, and they say it works perfectly fine. So thinking maybe I'll try it without the software installed and fully remove it, which will suck because I used to use this for my volume button. Um... So, let me just show you. If you've not seen one of these, you should take a look. Especially if you have, um, not necessarily small hands. If your hands are really long, then you might not like how it puts your palm on the, um, desk. Other than that, it's fine. I wouldn't have any qualms about it. You got my baby back. So full metal construction, adjustable weight, you can actually adjust the length of pieces, right? This piece actually comes off and there's a whole bunch of others. Now I'm actually going to unpack this because I'm going to uh, use it. I've seen everybody struggle with this. I really don't know what the problem is. So with it, you'd get your book. What book is this? I don't know, it's another book. And then your CD for a driver's but who gives a crap. So, that wasn't supposed to happen, but okay. I may have to put the phone down. Yeah, come on. There we go. Alright, and then you got all these wonderful little pieces. So you got your new pinky rest, which is the one I use, so I'm going to pull that out. Then you actually have a rubberized one. Which you can't probably see. The nice texture on it. It's actually really, really nice rubber. Surprisingly. Um, I'm going to switch to the tall one. As you can see how thick that is. And then I will show you the factory one. Well, this camera keeps going out of focus. It's probably because my hand keeps moving. Not a lot thicker, but a little bit. Adds a little bit of height to the mouse. Now, I'm actually going to try my mouse heavy for a while, but this is a container just for holding the weights. Now, I may separate this off into two videos, because as you saw earlier in the video, there is another mysterious mouse. Okay, but I'm going to show you basics of this. Um, so, obviously, you can see the handguard just pops off with squeezing the lever. But if you undo this, it's actually your wrench. Wonderful little toy. Um, and then, I'll do this wonderful piece. No, I'm not going to take any off right now. Well, okay, I'll take one off. And yes, you gotta watch because there's a spring. It won't go flying, but. Nope, got two. As you can see, a little tiny weight. Um, it does not say what weight it is. I believe it's six grams. So 30 grams of removable weights total. So yeah, six grams each. So there's six gram weights. And then you put this nice little spring unit on. And then this. And this is not going to work well. Oh, no, no, no. Stay. Okay, well, while I'm desperately trying this, I should put the phone down on my knee here and try this. It's, sorry if you can't view it, it's quite awful. Oh, and it's not really important, but 
it would be wise if you kept the indented side. Don't know if you can see that. I'll show you in a second. Just in case you can't. The indented side. Rather than the smooth side, this side's actually flat on the back. We keep the indents inside out. And you can take your little wrench and it'll screw in nice and flush. Okay, well, easiest part to install is actually the tailpiece. Not hard. Just take your mouse. Just push the button, the silver button on the side. Put him on. And then pick wherever you want it. I use my mouse, as I said, I like to feel it in my palm, so fully extended. Oh yeah, it's feeling a lot more normal. Okay, now, right now this mouse is still quite compact, and the button is actually in the wrong spot, as well as I'd like this to be out a little, because I'd like my hands wider. So, uh, focus camera. So, let's adjust that. Um, first we're going to go in here, this little screw that I'm now locked in, and loosen him. Now we can do this. Full adjustable. I want What about there? I tighten him down, hopefully not without moving anything. Oh, get in there. There we go. Now that's solid, it doesn't move. Oh, it does move. I need to tighten it more. Bear with me, I am doing this one-handed and I really suck at one-handed. Should probably be doing this on the table, but oh well, I'll readjust it later. It's mine for good now, so. Okay, and this is actually a little too far forward. So I'm going to screw this back a bit. You'll see on the screw there how it's moving. And now, notice my finger sits right on that button, and I can actually push this button and that button if I wanted to, and the third one, just by rolling my hand. Then I can obviously reach the scroll wheel. People tell me this is the weirdest wheel they've ever used. Um. It was awkward at first, but once you get used to it, it really is actually in quite a convenient place. So, all right, one more piece. This one. This one's actually quite easy to do. You just take this nice little screw out. Uh, unfortunately, if you are left-handed, or I'm technically right-handed, but I've kind of learned how to use both, but, oh, come on, you just pull them off, I'm going to stuff him in the pinky wrist, or, yeah, the pinky wrist holder of that foam case, and I'm actually going to close that case up, this one, okay, now there's little teeth here, now I've seen one guy actually try to use it this way, it uh, does not go that way, <laughs> it's quite funny to watch. So, and they line up with their nice little holes on the side of the thing. I keep turning the camera, sorry. Nice little holes. Take this guy, stuff him in the... Oh, I try to give him a twist, but... Nope, not gonna work. All right, time for some tech specs for this. Um, basically, this mouse is a 5600 DPI, as you can see. Uh, fully adjustable, actually, by this cool little button in the middle. So up and down. Then you have your nice little scroll wheel. Clicks. Uh, this mouse does a 1,000 reports a second, if I remember correctly. I have been using this for almost three years now. Um, 
just about the whole mouse is programmable. The only thing that I have not found a way to program is these two buttons, but if you're programming your main two buttons, I have questions as to why. There's a nice little mode indicator here. I don't hear my computer freak out. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Gotta love the Windows noise. Alright, let's refocus this for you. Okay, not coming on. Watch it have the exact same error I had before. Okay, it may actually be broken. I may take it back and go, what the hell is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it comes. Okay, I've been using this pile. One of the most reliable mice, mice I have, but it's a pile. And it's getting very, very sticky, and it's gross. Okay. Put my mouse back on here. Oh, it even remembers my DPI setting. Go figure. Oh, that's probably partially the software. Actually, I've noticed if you set the DPI in the program, for whatever reason, it will actually stick on the mouse even if you don't have it installed. Right? So, but this basically goes from 800 all the way up to 56 just by pushing the button. And as you can see, the indicator goes up and down. Okay, let's see. That's where we're Okay, well, right now we are working. Well, that's the same movement. Sorry about the polling on my screen. But, yeah, and, and you can probably see on this screen, which is not so annoying, it does work for the volume control because I have it set up. Can't forget my wrench. So let's flip this over. Yeah, your wrench basically just goes in like this into the little hole and spin it. Done. Overall, good mouse. I would use it again. Um, however, Cyborg, nice little guys with this nice little head. Ooh, that's a nice effect off from the worn off head. Um, does not actually build these anymore. Um, Mad Cats does, which is kind of saddening because I like my cyborg. But I guess I'm going to be sticking with it for a while, and I hope they're right, and it's just my drivers are bad, but... Oh well. If that's the case, that would be the case. Uh, basically, you have three modes. There's your red, blue, and purple, because they were too cheap to go with RGB LEDs. Oh well. So, basically, you can program everything on this mouse once, twice, three times, Fantastic. And this cool little red button, it's actually supposed to have a cross on it. As you may or may not be able to see from this. Hang on, I gotta focus it again. See? Um, my mouse does not have that because of three years of use. So I'm gonna focus on the words again. So, I love it dearly. Its software is not all that great, but it works. And. This as a volume control is really handy because if you get into a gunfight and the volume gets retardedly loud all of a sudden, you can actually just right while you're fighting just scroll that down and it gets back to normal. And as I said, I can hit precision my button and I black my forward button and my back button. Um, you can actually reprogram this button too if you would like. I would tell you to leave it on precision aim if you use it. Um, I don't actually use it, and I've never reprogrammed it for any lack of a need. My G13 does most of my stuff. However, I am thinking I may put Melee on it, because that is a very handy spot for Melee, just squeeze. And, plus, if something startles you, you just squeeze anyways. But, if you want to see, here's what this does on the computer. I'll try and get the mouse so it's viewable. So, here's movement. And that's the precision button, and that's movement. So it's set as a percentage of your movement, or of the sensor. So the higher DPI you go, oh. see the movement, see the movement, it actually scales with it. So, um, overall, good mouse. I would recommend it to anyone. Um, as you can see, though, 
my hands don't quite reach the end. If I put my hand right on top of my mouse, it can. Now, I have a tendency to do that if I drop my wrists. So one, anyone who uses one of those stupid mouse pad things would work great. Or the arm of your chair. Works awesome. Gives you a good motion. And my fingers go right to the end. But that's why I'm trying this Logitech mouse, because it doesn't actually have me go to the end. It fits my hand with that. But it's up to you. Give it a try. It's worth the money. It really is.